Hi guys, so we're gonna do an Irma styling video. So let's start off with Irma sizing. The sizing of Irmas are pretty easy. What you do is you wanna size down because they are a tunic style shirt. So what that means is it's a little bit tighter in the sleeve, there's a little bit of a bat wing, and then it's a pretty straight shirt. It's short in front, long in back, so it covers your bum, and I'm wearing leggings, and it's completely fine to wear with leggings. The legging rule is it has to cover your bits and your bum, and the Irma does both, which is perfect. So I am normally a medium or large shirt at Kohl's, Target, Walmart, any of those places. This is a double extra small Irma. It is a silky material and I'm about five months pregnant, but you really can't tell because it is a more boxy shirt, which is awesome for lounging around, layering and things like that. So I'll show you my top ways to wear an Irma. Let's start with a really easy way to dress up your Irma. All you need to do is take a belt and put it on. You want to belt it at your tiniest part and if you're pregnant you just belt wherever is comfortable. So for me I am belting above the bump and then all you do is just tuck the tail of your belt around and then it instantly gives you a little bit of a figure but it's not too form-fitting. Layering Irmas is one of my favorite things to do. This is a joy, it's a vest, it's sleeveless, and it's long. But don't worry, even if you're short, you can still wear a joy. So I throw a joy over my Irma and it gives me a more dressy look. You can also layer with a Sarah. You just take your Sarah and put it on. But right now, it's the middle of summer in Wisconsin, so I wouldn't really wear a Sarah because I would sweat to death. But this is a really great fall and winter and spring option. in a double extra small Irma, and now I'm in a small Irma. I wear double extra small all the way up to extra large, sometimes a 2X in the Irma, which is definitely sizing up for me. So what I do when I start getting a little bit bigger is you can belt it like we did before, or if it's summer, you take one arm out and you just put the sleeve down. Then you take the sleeve and you tuck it in, and it's a one shoulder shirt which is super cute, super awesome, and one of my favorite ways to wear it. What you can also do is take out both arms, and it makes a great dress. All you do is you take it, and you tie the sleeves in front, under your bust, and then it's still flowy in front, a little bit longer in back, and super cute. Some ladies also like to take the sleeves and tie them behind their necks as a halter. Just make sure when you tie it, you always tie it twice. And I'm tying it just like I would when I'm tying my shoes. And now it's a halter. It's a little bit shorter, so I'd recommend wearing jean shorts or jeans with this look. But it's a great summer look. great to wear an Irma with your Cassie skirt. If the Cassie makes you a little bit nervous, an Irma is a great way to slowly work your confidence up. The secret with a Cassie is you want to make sure it's pulled up all the way to your waist. Don't wear it at your hips. The Cassie is made with a curve so it wants to follow the curve of your body. So my belly button is here and it's all the way up. And then what you do is you can just put your Irma over kind of covers your butt a little bit, but not so much that you can't see that you're wearing a skirt. You can also take a belt when you're wearing your Irma with your Cassie, and you can belt your tiniest part. So then it's a little bit more of an hourglass look, but it's still loose and flowy and hides your belly and also hides your butt. Right now, I am wearing an oversized Irma. This is a medium, so this is true to size for me because usually I like the smalls and extra smalls because in Irmas, you wanna size down. So what I've done is I've worn an Irma over a Carly and look, they follow the bottoms perfectly together. And then you belt it and it's a super cute look. What you can also do is you can lose the belt 
and you can take it, pull, you can pull your fabric really hard, it won't stretch it, and tie a knot. The secret with tying knots is your location and your tail. So step one, you always tuck your tail. The location, you want it to be in one of two spots, either between your nipple and your armpit, anywhere, it doesn't have to be halfway, so just like mine. Or you can take it and you can tie it directly between your girls. So you can pull it really hard, take it, and again, tie. And then of course, always tuck your tail. And tying it between is a great other look. Anytime you're tying, you also wanna make sure that this part where the Irma is cutting from your top to bottom, you wanna make sure that it's at your tiniest part. You don't wanna do it under the boobs unless you're pregnant. If you're pregnant, you can. If you're not, you definitely want it down a little bit so then it cuts you at the appropriate point. 